Hello friends, welcome back to my channel study guide. Today we will discuss the previous year question paper from the Delhi University MSc PhD Medical Science. Let's start with this. Before this, please subscribe my channel as there are lots of views but there is no subscription. So please subscribe the channel. It will motivate me to make the further more videos. Thank you. Here the first question is Balvini rings occurs in option 1 autosomes, option 2 heterosomes, option 3 polyteen chromosomes, option 4 Lampras chromosome. Basically the our answer is option 3 that is polyteen chromosomes. These polyteen chromosomes are the active RNA synthesis sites and these are present in the salivary glands of the insect whereas the Lampras chromosomes is present in the uh, oocytes of the many organisms except the mammals. Next question, question 2, what is, which of the following is not a type of cancer? 1. Carcinoma, 2. Mm, sarcomas, 3. Leukemia, 4. Colitis. Here the correct answer for this is the option 4 that is colitis. As the colitis is an inflammatory reaction in the colon and it can be due to the autoimmune or due to any kind of infection. Whereas the carcinoma is the cancer of the skin and the sarcomas are the cancer of the tissue and leukemia is the cancer of the uh, blood, blood cells. So the correct answer is the fourth that is colitis. Next question, question 3, if DNA is damaged, which of the following gene get arrested in the cell cycle? Here the correct answer for this is the direct question and we, is, we are very familiar with the answer that is P53, P53 is the correct answer. Next question, name, name the term where a single pre-messenger RNA is processed into a number of products. 1. Alternative splicing 2. Polyadenylation 3. Capping 4. Intron removal Here the word intron removal is basically the splicing part is involved and here the capping is very important in the eukaryotic uh, messenger RNA capping and the tailing. Tailing is due to the polyadenylation and the alternative splicing is the something that is we are searching for the answer that the alternative splicing is the correct answer in this the what is happened in the alternative splicing is here the mm, let's make this as the exons and this ex exon can combined with this one or with this one also so uh, there are chances of getting a multiple trans transcription uh, transcriptomes basically and alternative splicing help in doing this so the, our correct answer for this is the alternative splicing next question question fifth what is the role of sigma factor in the transcription is it for the helicase action? Option 2 transcription initiation, option 3 transcription elongation, and that option 4 transcription termination. And sigma factor basically, this sigma factor is not used in the helicase action, it is not it is not used in the transcription elongation or the termination. The correct answer for this is the transcription initiation because it helps in finding the correct position where this RNA polymerase RNA polymerase get bound and starts the uh, transcription when it get started from the transcription initiation side it, it this sigma factor get dissociated from this RNA polymerase 
and finally helps finally then the transcription elongation process uh, continues next question question 6th how many base pair are there in every helical turn of the watson crick double helix model basically they are uh, asking about the b type of dna b dna okay there are three types of dna a dna b dna and z dna and you have to learn that the for this the base pair is 10.4 this is the correct answer next question question 7 a purified dna sample of leaf contained 20 percent of guanine and, and calculate the approximate percentage of the purine residues basically the pu purines are the a and g and our primidines are the c u and t if the guanine is our this guanine is uh, how much it is 20 percent okay 20 percent that means g will base pair with the c so it is also 20 percent and now the in we are given that this is a dna so there is a no use of the u and after this the 20 percent 20 it is a 40 percent and the remaining is the 60 percent in 60 percent it is divided that this is the 30 percent for the a and the, this 30 percent for the t okay so the total uh, purines in this is 30 plus 20 is the 50 percent so the correct answer for this is the 50 percent next question question eighth how many number of replicons are found in the e coli basically the replicon in this is only single replicon is found in the e coli next question question nine what is the role of the snow rna and eukaryotes Basically, the SNO RNA stands for the small nuclear RNA and it is used in chemical modification of the ribosomal RNA. This is the correct answer for this. Next question, question 10. Which of the following sequence of RNA is recognized by the small subunit of ribosome? Row utilization site, down downstream sequence upstream sequence or the sine dalgano sequence here the rna is recognized with a small subunit of ribosome what is the small subunit of ribosome it is the 30s for the uh, prokaryotes and it is basically asking about the prokaryotes and uh, the correct answer for this is the sine dalgano sequence and the in, if it is asked in the eukaryotic cells then the correct answer will be the uh, Kozak sequence so here we have discussed the 10 question in this video we will discuss further questions in the next video please stay tuned and thank you very much subscribe my channel